Welcome, foolish mortals. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Magical Maiden, and this is my Paranormal Blogs. So, welcome everybody, and to my new subscribers, thank you for joining me, and to people that are just having a look around and just checking out my channel, please consider subscribing, and everybody please hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I upload new videos. And as always, please keep checking back because some of you are being unsubbed from my channel, and some of you have been um, not notified when I do upload new content. Okay, so today isn't so much as spooky as it is mind-blowing. Now, some of you may not understand this, and you may question this, and you may not like this. All right, well, I've stumbled onto something. Now, I'm gonna say something, and some of you are gonna disagree, but that's okay. A lot of people don't do critical thinking. They don't ask themselves critical questions. They accept everything that is spoon-fed to them by the media. So in other words, you're like a blindfolded person that has your ears plugged with your fingers going la 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 and drool dripping down your mouth with your mouth open waiting for the next BS spoonful to be fed. Um, and that may not sound so nice. Unfortunately, it's true for most. Uh, fortunately though, there are a lot of people that are awake. See, you've been putting in a in a trance. There's the dark ball. And most of you won't believe this and you'll just probably go, I'm not listening to her. This may trigger some because the truth triggers people. Now here is the thing. I could only say so much on YouTube because they censor. Now I'm not trying to get anything all anybody upset. I'm just trying to wake people up. Now there's some of us that are awake. Actually, there's a lot. But there's, and it's all on different levels. Some are just waking up, some are in the beginning stages, and some are far along. I'm far along, but I know I can still wake up to plenty more. Because everything you've known since the time you were born was a complete and utter lie. That's right. The controllers of this world made sure that you were fully indoctrinated and brainwashed. Schooling lies to you, colleges lie to you, the news lies to you, and throughout your life you're being lied. What they do is they use a method of brainwashing, which is also considered mass MK Ultra, which is also considered mind control. Now what they do is they basically repeat something over and over and over throughout your lifetime and it can be so big and outlandish but they repeat it over and over and through, through your entire lifetime everywhere and you believe it eventually it becomes truth and nobody questions it because well you've been told that all your life your brothers and sisters or friends and parents and their parents and so on and so forth okay and it's been said that hell is repetition the reason it's repetition like in songs when they repeat themselves over and over it's a form of mind control brainwashing when you repeat something and they do this constantly okay so now what I'm going to go into is about whether you're going to accept this information or you're going to tune out that means you're part of the matrix when you wake up you become part of the real reality and you can spot things immediately. I can see propaganda, I can see all the phony baloney they've been spoon feeding people. It's all in everywhere. It's like that movie They Live where the guy puts the glasses on and he sees the truth all around him. And you know that fight scene that he has with the other actor, I can't remember his name, in the alley where he tries to get him to put the sunglasses on to see the truth? This is what it's like trying to wake up the masses that are not awake. And what we call them and I call them are sheep. 
If you're not awake, you're a sheep. You're a sheep being led to your slaughter, your ultimate brainwashing sheep. Or people get mad at that, but we call them sleepers or we call them normies. Put those air quotes. <laughs> normies because you think you're normal and you think all of us that are awake are crazy. But we're actually the normal ones. You're not crazy, you're just in the matrix. So we see things that you don't see because you're not awake yet. Now we try to help you to see them and some of you listen and some of you are like, okay, I try not to be insulting to the sheep, but sometimes I get frustrated. I've been at this since I was a little kid trying to wake people up first to the paranormal and supernatural, that it does exist, that you don't die when you die. You're not your body, you're not. <laughs> it's a suit so you can experience this world but I got to tell you something this world is controlled by and I'm gonna say it say this is Satan's world and I've put EVPs where who I communicate with it's really conversations but I call them EVPs so that you can understand them now I do it telepathically but I do record sometimes to have you out there hear it so you know I'm not full of baloney and I can do this anywhere any place with any device I don't have to be at home in my house I can go anywhere and I can speak to them and it could be day night and actually the best time is when it's a beautiful sunny day because the Sun is they feed off that energy that plasma so okay are you with me did you tune out <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take you down a short road. This is only one. There'll be many installments. What I'm going to first get to is when you wake up, you're no longer part of the matrix. It's a slow process. It could be anything that interests you that starts you to research, but you've got to do it on your own. Unfortunately, the evil ones have known this and pretty much scrubbed the internet of all good things that were, um, you know, knowledgeable things that told you truths now I don't like when people are like oh they're singing that song and they're, they're trying to give us clues because they want to help us or in the movies they want to help us or in that book no they're not they don't care about you they hate us all equally uh, they don't care about you when they do all that nonsense what they're really doing is they have to tell you what they've done to you, what they're doing to you, and what they're going to do to you. It's predictive programming. So they put it in shows, commercials, movies, ads of all kinds of magazines, books. It's everywhere. They don't care about you. That's why I don't idolize celebutards. I don't idolize athletes. I don't idolize anyone. You shouldn't, okay? They want to make it like they're higher than you. The reason is, it's Satan's world. It's a world of illusions and lies. So every single thing from the minute you were born that was told to you was a lie. All history is a lie. If you knew the truths like I do, and I know some of you, oh, history isn't a lie. You're already, you're already doing that. You're already shutting yourself down. That means you're not awake. You might be awake to some things, and I've seen it. I've seen some of you that are really awake to like the paranormal and awake to certain items outside the matrix. But when it comes to me telling you that your whole entire life, everything you've known is a lie, <clears throat> you shut down because it's too scary. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I don't talk that much. I'm a soft talker, but I gotta talk louder because of this microphone. And I'm not gonna be on too long because I have to dry my hair, it's soaking wet right now. <laughs> and so this is it. I'm not trying to piss anybody off, make you angry, upset. I'm just trying to wake you up because it's because of the sleepers out there, maybe even you listening, that we're not getting to the next level. We're not escaping Satan's world. Okay, so at the end of the day, all is said and done. You could take this information, you could put your ego aside, your opinions aside, and open your mind and sit back and do some research for yourself and come to your own conclusions. Don't take my word for it. That's okay. I'm not going to be insulted. I don't care. 
do your own research, okay? But don't immediately say, no, because somebody debunked this. Yeah, there are. I know there's a few atheist debunkers that debunk the whole mud flood thing because they're atheists. They don't believe in anything. And the whole mud flood Toteria old world is based on trying, they try to hide God out of everything, Christ basically. And the old world was built about Christ and everybody, there was said to have angels among us walking freely and they screwed it up and made a whole other story saying the giants were evil and the Nephilim and all this other crap, okay? You could, again, you come to your own conclusions. You don't take my word for anything. I just want you to keep an open mind, put your ego aside, and do your own research. Your own research, okay? Don't let somebody else tell you. And remember, you can't go and talk to your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your friends or your sister and your brother if they're not awake. If you talk to another sheep that's asleep, that's like the blind leading the blind. They're just going to say no because they're going to have their ego, they're going to have their brainwashing and they're going to say no that isn't true. So when you ask another person that's not awake, again it's the blind leading the blind. You're never going to learn anything, you're never going to wake up. I'm not going to go too deep into things because YouTube, you know, doesn't like you waking up the sheep. So what I am going to do, and I hesitated making this video, but I really need you to wake up. It's, you know, it's almost too late. We have to finish this. Now this is Satan's world and it's an actual, whether you're religious or not, or whether you believe in Christ or not, or whether you believe in Satan or not, I don't really care what your religion is. I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. Because of my clairvoyance and clairaudience, I know things that the average person doesn't know, okay? Now I do have an advantage because of that, but it doesn't mean I didn't have to do research. Uh, fortunately, back then, when I was doing research, there was a lot more information out there. Now they've kind of scrubbed it everywhere. So it's hard to find it. And they put a lot of disinformation out there. So first, what I'm going to say is all history is a lie. It is. They redo it all the time. You have no idea. This great reset they speak of, they've done this. It's a reset. It's supposed to be like every thousand years, but I think it's every 2,000 years. Also, the year is actually later than 2021. They've changed the calendar, the Gregorian calendar. They, but they changed the calendar. They changed the calendar. Now, I know some of you are shaking your head right now, but I, I know the truth is hard because the truth triggers people that are in the matrix. It brings out the this Mr. Smiths, if you saw the show, uh, the movie The Matrix, the Mr. Smiths of the world, and I'm going to put this in there, it triggers you, and you find yourself angry. Some even get violent. It's crazy, but that's what they've done to people, so that when you try to wake up, there's a mechanism that tries to prevent you from waking up. Okay, so I'm continuing. I was uh, interrupted shortly. I'm in another room now. Um, <clears throat> I have to talk softly because whenever I talk too rough my, or loud, my voice tends to break up and get scratchy. <laughs> so I always talk softly because then, then my voice doesn't get all scratchy. So basically, um, now rolling back to what I said earlier about um, that movie They Live. Yeah, it was a B movie. It was a cheap B movie and yes they always have to tell you what they're doing what they've done what they're going to do and they use movies as their vehicle to do so to deliver that message uh, but they're the evil I call the dark of all they're very sneaky they use loopholes in everything okay so that's just a loophole but to release them because they believe in karma, even though they've destroyed their karma, but pretty much. Their karma is pretty much massacred after all they've done uh, to the people, all of us, for centuries. Not even centuries, eons. So in the movie they live, uh, 
that fight scene where he's trying to get the guy to put the sunglasses on to see the truth. It's basically an analogy, an analogy, analogy, I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> I've been up early so I can't think straight. Um, basically that when you try to wake up the sheep or the sleepers or the normies, whatever your term is, that they will react that way. They will blow you off. They don't want to listen. They don't want to hear it. They keep, no, no. And he kept trying to get him to put the glasses on. So the part where he's trying to get him to put the glasses on is like the part of me or someone trying to wake up the sheep, the people that are sleeping, to show them the truth, to tell them about the truth. But they don't want to hear it. And they get triggered and they're like, all right. You know, at first they're like, no, no, come on they don't believe it and then they're like all right that's enough then they get kind of get angry they get triggered then they get violent so that fight scene that they had between each other about uh roddy piper or rowdy roddy row, rowdy roddy piper try to say that three times fast <laughs> and that other actor where he's trying to get him to put the sunglasses on just to see the truth and the guy put up such a fight and the fight goes on for hours and hours and it's an iconic little scene that people play over and it's kind of a joke scene but it's about how hard it is to wake up the sleepers the sheep the normies it's a struggle it's a fight and but you have to keep at it. You have to keep pumping out the information. You have to keep trying. Because eventually in that scene, the guy does put the glasses on on his own. See, that's it. He was trying to force him to put the glasses on. The Roddy Piper character. Rowdy Roddy. And the other guy didn't want to do it. And after the, the fight scene that goes on for all eternity... <laughs> <laughs> which is like what it's like to try to wake up the sleepers the guy they're broken and bruised and fighting and they probably just they go their separate ways and the other guy is walking away and he stops and he grabs the sunglasses and he puts them on after a while he puts them on and he sees what that guy was trying to tell him so that analogy is basically saying after the the fight first analogy was that it's really hard to get the sleepers it's going to be a fight they're going to be triggered they're going to get angry they'll probably get violent they will some people have gotten violent i know a guy that told me he tried to wake up his girlfriend telling him truth telling her truth and she got sorry the fan on my computer went off let me check she got so violent she started hitting him first she got angry and was cursing at him and whatever telling him to shut up then she got violent and started literally hitting him He's, he wasn't even doing anything he was just having a nice calm normal conversation but trying but giving truths you see so the next analogy is when he the guy finally puts he succumbs to it, he puts the sunglasses on himself, his choice, what that means, and then he finally sees the truth of what that guy was trying to tell him. That analogy means if you don't put those sunglasses on, okay, if you don't do your own research, you're never going to wake up. My cat's meow. Well, if you don't put those sunglasses on, you will never wake up and see the truth. So if you don't do your own research, you're never going to wake up because that's the only way. Someone like me can tell you truths and you could just be like, yeah, right. Or you could be like, eh, maybe that's true. And then you just go about your life as it always was. Never seeking, never knowing, never caring. But until you do, you find something that really interests you and then you do research. And I'm talking about deep research that leads you to your very first rabbit hole and it's not that deep but it leads you to another rabbit hole that's deeper and then 10 more rabbit holes that are even deeper and it just keeps going and going and going and that's how you wake up it's the only way so what I was saying was a lot of people end up with a big ego and your ego is what prevents you also from waking up. I'm going to get back to your ego now. 
Your ego, you have to let go of your ego. You have to let go of everything you ever knew. You gotta let go of that. You can't think you know everything because you don't. Just because you were told and spoon fed that all your life doesn't make it true. I'm telling you, all of history was made up. They didn't tell you one speck of truth. They twisted it all around. Now, what I'm going to get into, whether you believe this or not, now don't get triggered, stick with me, because I'm going to take you down a rabbit hole, okay? So come with me to the rabbit hole. Now, I'm going to do another video on this, but right now, I'm going to take you to a rabbit hole that you can do some research until my next video. Alright, so are you ready? Well, let's go. Okay, so now we're in the rabbit hole and we're falling down. So now there's something called, and some of you may have heard about this, mud floods, okay? And mud fossils, and Tartaria, the old world. We had an old world, and there's still some reminiscence of it left behind. The original world, as it was, we were royalty, we lived like royalty, we had our abilities, psychic abilities, telekinesis, tele telepathic, everything. And we built beautiful buildings through a combination of free energy and psychic abilities and, and other things, okay? Now, some of it's going to be speculation because I don't know everything and I have to do further communication and further research. But I want you to wake up to this and you can do your own research and I can, even in your own hometown, I found it just driving a couple of blocks away mud floods and they say that so now the year is older than you think remember all history is a lie so it wasn't like Columbus found America and nobody else lived here but the Native Americans that's not true okay America didn't have to be discovered he just came here to conquer it it was already discovered there was already lots of people living here and around the world and if you go around the world you're going to see this specific architecture and I'm going to show you some pictures they call it Tartaria but Tartaria used to be Russia but this is it's a long explanation and I'm going to take you where you can do further research I'm going to give you links that will be below this video in the description box okay and I'm going to take you to where you can go and research it yourself. And so here we go. Now there's different pictures here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to each one of these and you're going to see all these. See this? Now all those towers were how you got free energy because and electricity is everywhere and they built these towers and all these things it wasn't just fancy this castles all over the world this pyramids all over the world okay and I'm just gonna take you through the mud floods of the old world right now Tartaria whatever okay because then I'll get to mud fossils so there is a good first the mud floods Remember, the year is different because they changed the calendar on us. You know, the old Gregorian calendar the, the, and changed it. And Anyway, some of you already know about that. So, each time in history is different. And what they told you is a lie. They, they've done this to confuse you, to keep you in the dark, to keep you asleep so that they can keep controlling you. They're controllers. And there's a reason. And they've done this flood thing. I believe it's supposed to be like every a thousand years, but it could be every two thousand something years that this great comet comes around, blah blah blah, causes earthquakes and mud floods and earthquakes and mud floods and stuff. Anyway, I don't know particularly what happened. I wasn't there. And I have to ask when I do my communication, uh, because I'm Claronian, I can do the communication. Uh, they might not tell me. I get a lot of, I'm not allowed to tell you, but I still press. And when I say, why aren't you allowed to tell me? They always say, because this is Satan's world. We need his permission. Even if I'm talking to the angelic realm, because they obey the laws of the universe. And yeah, that's true. 
there is a law of the universe and both sides respect that and obey it. It's like a big game and you gotta play by the rules. So now you either believe me or you don't or you've tuned out by now. So I don't want to lose you. I want to take you on this journey through Tartaria mud floods of the old world. So it was said in the beginning they had these, like the World's Fair, but they're not really the World's Fair because you don't expect to believe that they built all this beautiful architecture that, and expect us to believe they built this in three years. Well, this architecture is all over the world. It's so intricate and they don't do it anymore. Okay, they don't, and they try to make you believe it happened by the Romans and the Greeks and no, they didn't build all this. This was already here. We're considered the inheritors, the inheritors that inherit things that were there. It's a long explanation and I want you to go on YouTube or whatever and search mud floods, mud fossils and Tartaria and Old World mud floods. Okay. There's groups on Facebook. There's, it's everywhere. I'm going to put a few links to some good channels that you're going to find the information. I'm going to do another video on, video on this for you, getting further and deeper into the rabbit hole. But I want you to do a little research on your own. Okay, don't be lazy. Don't shake this off. Don't believe it. Even if you don't believe it, just do it for the sake of doing it, okay? What else do you have to do? Sit and play a video game or play with your cell phone going LOL and gossip, right? What are you going to do? Do this. It's not going to hurt you, okay? It's just going to give you some knowledge of things you didn't know. At the very least, it'll amuse you, okay? So now... There's a link to this uh, one YouTube. It's John Levi. He's very good. Now he talks very relaxing, so you might get sleepy. Okay, so the first video that I want you to look at, it's called Giant Mud Fossil Collection. All right? When you get to the part of mud fossils. And it's by The Rocks. The Rocks Were Alive. YouTube channel. Now I'm going to put his YouTube channel in link, but I'm going to put this giant mud fossil collection and the link to the video right underneath that so that later you can go check out his other videos. But first I want you to do the Tartaria mud floods uh, research. Then I want you to go to this channel and mud fossil university. Okay. So giant mud fossil collection from the rocks were alive channel is a good one now this isn't my video this is his so i'm going to show you a piece because i didn't get to ask but i think i'll throw him a message so he shows you see mountains on the side regular like this but if you put them on the side remember giants book of enoch look you would think that's a mountain look again they died they got petrified they're all over the world. You just have to look. Okay, now I'm not going to show you his entire video because it is not my video. But I want you to go to his channel. You're going to see how animals also, giant animals. Remember what I said, all things were giant because we had a lot more oxygen in the world. And when you have a lot of oxygen, things get bigger. They grow bigger, people were bigger, animals were bigger, insects were bigger. Okay? You're looking? You gotta look with eyes to see. Some will just see mountains and rocks, others will see. It's not your eyes making, you know, things out of nothing. See? So I want you to use your eyes. I want you to go to the giant mud fossil collection and I want you to go to his channel. The Rocks Were Alive. This is his This is his channel on YouTube. Okay, he has really good things. What I want you to do on all things, so go to videos 
then I want you to scroll down to the very first one and look at them, okay? So that was one of the channels that I didn't mention earlier. Um, but the first channel I want you to go to before you do all that, I know you might want to skip around, but please do it in order so you understand better. Okay, so I'm going to take you to someone who is really good at what he does and explaining this to you. Let me get my... Okay, so it's John Levi, okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to go see where it's at home, click videos. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll to his very, very, very first one. It's going to take a while. He has a lot of videos. He recently just did one yesterday or the day before yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And he has a lot of great information. And he's going to be the first link I give you. Okay, so you're going to go to the first video. Roads are older than you think. Okay, that's not anything, but then go to this one. You can skip those, then go to this, and then work your way up. I promise you they're very interesting, okay? Now you might not want to watch the whole thing, or you might want to do, um, uh, you know, a purge and watch all of them, a marathon of watching them. He has a very relaxing, slow voice, so we might put you to sleep. My husband always falls asleep, but his information will keep you awake. <laughs> He's really good at what he does. Okay. Another person that I want you to go to after that is, bear with me while I look for the channel. I have a lot of people's channels on here that I watch. Another good one, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. You've got to watch Justin Pollack. I'm going to put him underneath the, uh, the Rocks Were Alive. He's got some really good videos. He also plays the pan, whatever. But when you go to Jason, Justin, hit videos. It's my cat. And you gotta look at these videos. This one will show you <laughs> really good history. Um, now you could believe it or not believe it. This one's gonna show you moving sidewalks. They had, they had, um, that's why they show you steampunk. They actually had electricity way before you even think they did. Don't let them fool you. But anyway, you're gonna go down, look at all his videos. He has a few. He has some of his personal videos, like him painting the hand pan, which is interesting. But I want you to watch his few ones here. So I'm gonna put him there as well. And then he's good in the streets of Tartaria and No Place Like Home. If I can find that, there's no place like home. Okay. Okay. There's no place like home. She does homeschooling, so she has a lot of schooling stuff here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to playlist. Okay. Then you're going to scroll down and where it says question the narrative, you're going to go view full playlist. And then what I suggest is that you work your way down to the very first one so that you understand it and then work your way up. She's very good at how she explains things. She's a teacher, so she's very, very good at it, okay? And when you're done with all those links, when you go, now it's time for the mud floods, you can go to uh, the, ro the Rocks Were Alive, and then you can go to Mud Fossil University. All the links, like I said, will be below this video in the description box. Okay, let me do this do this. You got Mud Fossil University. You're going to click videos and then scroll down to all of them or just watch them in order, however you want to do it. But you got to. And he just posted one nine minutes ago. Okay. Now they're very analytical. He's very scientific. He's very credible. So I want you to go to that link. But first, you're going to do all the Tartaria things. Before you go to Mud Fossils and the Rocks Were Alive, you go, uh, you're going to go to John Levi, There's No Place Like Home, Jace, Justin 
Pollock and then I want you to do the streets of Tartaria so that you can do your own research and your own uh, investigating in your own neighborhood probably streets of Tartaria the link will be below again you want to go to videos you want to look at all of them and I'm just going to show you briefly what he's getting at um, I'm just going to click on one of these videos never mind my cat whenever I'm, this is why I don't come in my filming room because my cat so they're old world you're going to look at old Victorian houses they usually have it now those are regular basement windows this is his but he found a house and he even talked to the homeowner where he shows you mud flood windows and things like that and how doors are below but I'm trying to find a good example if he can find a mud flood window here flood windows they're half half in the ground and half there now some of them still have the glass in it okay you gotta look for that they're not regular basement windows some of them is sealed up shoot through he'll take you through stuff okay so the streets of Tartaria um basically that's all I wanted to show you in that so please look below this video in the description box for the links for all this. Do your own research and wake up. Hi, ask yourself a critical question. Again, you have to do critical thinking by asking yourself questions. Why would they build a house with windows that are half underground? What are you going to look at? Why would they build doors that are underground and just the tops peeking out? Are you going to open it to what? You can't even open it. So what's the point? The mud floods did that. And I know you're going to say, well, a lot of people built over old towns. and <laughs> Or that might have been an old basement. Nope. First, first, I want you to go to John Levi's. Okay? Watch a few of his. Eventually, I want you to watch all of his videos. They're very informative. They're very good. Um and they're very interesting so you start like i said go to videos go to the very bottom work your way to his latest ones and he just did one the other day so don't watch his newest ones you'll be lost go to the very bottom the truth is always hidden in plain sight it's always right in front of you and you know why they didn't care to hide it too much oh they hid a lot a lot of it they hid and it's in the smithsonian and then it's never to be seen again or under the Vatican, which is also evil. Um, and But a lot of it is right in front of you and it's always been right there. But you don't see because you're not awake. And they knew it, so they felt confident leaving it there. Okay? So even though most of it was taken and hidden away and whatever, um, they pretty much hid it. But a lot of it is right out in the plain sight right in front of your face but if you're not awake you don't see it but when you're awake you see it just like i'm awake and when i watch a movie i can see all the symbolism all the propaganda everything we don't even watch tv my husband and i it's really hard i watch old shows to have fun this is food for thought this was a journey into the rabbit hole into my you have homework go to those links below Please click them and check them out. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do that now. Click the like button, share, comment, and please expand your mind. Don't shut this down and discard my words. I'm here to help you. I'm only trying to wake you. I'm not trying to hurt you or lie to you. I want to wake you because I'm trying to get you out of the matrix. So take this any way you want. Like I said, I was hesitant in even making this video, but I'm going to go deeper and further into the rabbit hole on my next video. So, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. Please like this video, and I 
want you to make sure that you click those links below and check out those videos like I asked you to. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.